Hello everyone. Welcome to today's session. Today we will build a simple itinerary service with the static resolver where we would be receiving a message and based on the message we would have an off ramp extender which would be setting the routing information with a static resolver and would route it to a off ramp dynamic send port. Hello everyone, welcome to today's session. Today we will see how to develop a simple ESB itinerary process with static resolver. Let's say we receive a request message ESP message A in and we need to route the message as ESB message out and let's say we are doing a transformation from ESP message A in to ESP message out so we would do a one to one mapping Let me create an itinerary project. So I will name the itinerary as uh, ESB dot routing slip dot itinerary. So in the itinerary, we would be having a on ramp and then a messaging extender then we would have an off ramp and off ramp extender associated with it so let me deploy the artifacts that we have to use it in the itinerary I go to the admin console. I have deployed the artifacts in ESB DJ application. I would create a receive only port. Similarly, I would create a one-way dynamic send port. I would add on reference of USB application. go to the dynamic one way port and specify the filter condition so I would specify the service name as DJ routing slip and service data spending and then service type as messaging so these three would be the filter condition that I have to configure it from the off ramp in the itinerary Similarly on the receive side, so as we have 
given the reference of uh, USB application, default pipelines would be available. So I would choose a IPAVI select receive pipeline and I would configure the IPAVI that I have to select. So in order to do a transformation at the on-ramp side, we should use ESP dispatcher component a pipeline that has ESB dispatcher component. Coming back to the itinerary project. So on ramp I will use an on ramp ESB extender and I would choose the application name as ESB BJ and I will choose the port which I have configured. Now on the itinerary service side I would uh, use the extender type as messaging extender. and I would have this executed in on-ramp so I will choose the on-ramp on the receive handler and we can see that on the receive handler my messaging extender is associated and on the service name we would select ESB transformation service now let us connect the on-ramp and the messaging extender service. Let me bring in a itinerary service and this would be an off-ramp extender. Where we will be specifying the endpoint details or endpoint configuration on the off ramp I would uh, specify the application name and then select the dynamic convenience input add a resolver on the messaging extender we would use a static resolver and on the resolver so we will specify the fully qualified name of the ESB A in message to ESB out map and similarly on the off ramp extender I would have a static resolver for setting the endpoint configuration transport name is the adapter type and transport location is the location where I have to route the message so I would reconfigure the off-ramp extender just to reflect the subscription properties on the dynamics input and if you see the filter condition that we provided on the dynamics input is available in the itinerary off-ramp extender as we have configured the off-ramp to the dynamic uh, send port which is having the filter condition the same is available on the off-ramp extender on the itinerary properties we would uh, set the export 
to default export mode to default and then we will set the require encryption certificate to false and then uh, we will change the model exporter from XML Lightner exporter to database Lightner exporter. So let me export my library to the database. So I will connect to the SQL and show you the library that is deployed in the library database. And I'll query the ESB itinerary DB and the table is itinerary. So here you can see my itinerary is deployed. Now let us go to the Bistock admin console where we will configure the receive location with the ESB itinerary pipeline and we will specify the static itinerary. So itinerary fact key is resolver.itinerary and resolver connection string is my itinerary that I have to fetch. I can either go for a static resolver or a BRE resolver. So let me start the application and restart the host instance. Now let us process a ESB message and we would see the output so here is my sample message so we would be receiving a usb message in and as we have a static itinerary, USB routing uh, slip itinerary would be picked and it would execute the map statically and then it would set the endpoint configuration using a static off ramp extender and then route it to the destination system. Now let us process a file and the message was picked up and it is available in the out directory. And here you see we have receive the transformed output message. Let's quickly recap what we have covered today. Here is a simple example of ESB routing slip where we receive the message on the on ramp and on ramp it do a transformation by using a messaging extender that is having a static resolver to do the transformation and then using off ramp extender we set the endpoint configurations and off ramp will be associated to a dynamic one way send put which will route the message to the destination system thanks for watching the video